for all the great rescue workers, um, police and firefighters who are helping out uh, in that storm area. So prayers yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. All right, shall we get started? Father, do you want to say a little brief introduction of who we are for Can anyone that might be here for time? time? I don't know how to do this. That's great. We're so glad you're all here. Um, Father Joe Laramie, <laughs> National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer, which is the Pope's Prayer Network. Um, for almost 200 years, we've been praying together, centered in the heart of Jesus and the heart of the church, praying for the monthly prayer intentions of the Holy Father. Uh, Jocelyn, who's just through this little oh, wooden door, so does it. such a wonderful job in this office, uh, working with youth, older folks. She and I helped lead a retreat for some college students this weekend that was a lot of fun. And uh, I'll mm -hmm. kick it back to her for Thursdays from the Heart. Yes, thank you, Father. Um, yes, like Father said, we led a retreat for some young adults in the area, like an hour north from here in the Milwaukee area, and it was a lot of fun. There was a group of missionaries that were there, so it was really awesome. One of the things that they kept like repeating to us in small group was that they were really grateful that they weren't the ones leading the retreat because that's the main ministry that they do. It's like lead retreats for middle schoolers and high schools. And they're like, oh, it's just so nice that we don't have to lead this retreat and we can just sit back and like enjoy. And I was like, yes, that is great. And I'm glad that they had this like part of your schedule so that you guys can get a retreat as well. Um, yeah, so today we're going to get started and um, the way that it usually looks, it's 15 short minutes that we get to spend together in community and in prayer. And so we'll, I'll open us up in a prayer and then we'll read the gospel for this upcoming Sunday. And then uh, I'll just give a couple short words of reflection and then uh, Manchu will close us in a prayer later today. And then we'll have like five minutes in there to just share intentions, anything that is in our hearts that we uh, ask each other to pray for in the next week, as well as like we can do that out loud or in the chat that we have. And so I welcome you at any moment to throw your intentions in there and then I'll read them later when we get to that section. So if you guys wouldn't mind uh, joining me in prayer. We'll get started in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, teach us how to pray. Lord, thank you so much for the gift of this day. Thank you for everyone that was able to come to this prayer time and for anyone whose schedules today were busier than they expected and weren't able to make it. We pray for everyone that was with us last week and back in May and anyone that will come in the future. We pray that this space may be a place of refuge where we may find your peace and where we may find your love in each other as we realize and we're able to see that we are not alone and that we have a community even if we're all scattered in different parts of the world that your church is one Holy Catholic Church, and that we will always have you in those around us. We pray that you may bless our conversation and anything that we share. And we ask this in your most holy name. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. Uh, I don't see Lillian here, but I, um, she was going to be the volunteer for the reading the gospel, but I will read it for us if, Father Joe, if you want to share that in the chat so everyone can follow along. It's a reading from the Gospel of Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witnesses, you shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, 
All of these I have I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Lord Christ. Christ. There are many things in this upcoming Sunday's Gospel to pray with. And I was like, oh, I'll talk about how I have a lot of clothes and um, should get rid of some of them. <laughs> and then I got to the second part. And I was like, oh, man, they also talk about getting into the kingdom of heaven. And uh, there's just a lot. And I don't even know what to share with you all. But um, I got to go to uh, my friend is leading a Bible study here in the area. And it's just a couple of young young adult women that have been going for the last couple of weeks. And um, it's been really nice and like really awesome to have that opportunity to be able to sit around a coffee table with some other girls and share just as we read through scripture both what comes up and like what how we're understanding it and there's always a mix of like girls that have studied theology before and other people that have not and it's helpful because they get to explain a little bit more sometimes like oh this St. Paul is writing to this group of people and during that time and then she, they fill in the blank and it's really nice and so with with that I definitely encourage you guys if there's anyone in the group that has like ever been to a bible study or um, would like to start one in your own home to consider that and um, just know that like our, your wisdom that the Lord has given you through both life experience and or if you've studied theology and have been able to understand um, church teachings to be able to share that with the people around you because it's a really big blessing and it's a really big gift and you never know like who will be impacted by just the things that you carry that you have learned from life or from being able to go to school and um or from, like, Harry, you said you did some uh, formation with the Jesuits or Fran Franciscans. Um, and, yeah, just, like, everything that we have, our spiritual life is much rich, richer and fuller than maybe we, like, think it is. And um, so never forget that your words, that the Holy Spirit works through you and can speak to those around you. And, like, Jesus was sharing with his disciples one the invitation to give up everything that they had and to follow him and seeing that this one young man like he found it really difficult and maybe he wasn't able to do that then and maybe years from then he like was able to see the sacrifice of Jesus on the cross and gave up his life in a different way but it's not an easy thing to do and like Jesus said um I don't want to quote the wrong thing, but it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. And my teammates and or my coworkers and I today, we were getting ready to film videos for the upcoming months. And I was like, oh, I really already want to talk about just like Thanksgiving and gratitude. But it was a little bit too early still to hop into the Thanksgiving and end of year and like being grateful for um, Jesus being born in like the Advent season 
or in preparation for him being born in the Advent season. But I think that gratitude is definitely one thing that I have been praying with a little bit the last couple of days of like continuing to remember to be grateful for, like I said, all the wisdom and gifts that we have, but then also for the things that we have surrounding us, the, the wealth in a way that we have in our lives and to take that to prayer and also ask God, like, where are you calling me to um, give different things up for you and for um, a greater sense of humility and um, space to be able to give to others as well. I don't know if any of that made any sense, but uh, just wanted to leave that there and open up the floor for any of you guys to share prayer intentions anyone that you want to pray for or uh, for yourself any intentions that you may have that we can pray as a group um, throughout the week for and this video I am recording so that we can share it with you all uh, you can find it on YouTube and then go back through the prayer intentions that anyone mentioned so the floor is open anything that we can pray for Jocelyn, I'd like to say a prayer for all the people who lost their homes in Florida today. And as you mentioned, gratitude is so important. And we're so grateful to have our homes and to be living in safety. And uh, just just wanted to pray for, for all those people who don't have a home tonight because of the hurricane in Florida. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Anita. Menchu? I would like to pray for just the COP16 that is going to start very soon in Colombia. Um, because there are many things people don't know that they're going to be deal there, like the synthetic biology and how this is going to affect the trees, all the environment that we are taking for granted. And this is going to affect just all humanity. And it's just like nobody knows what is going on. So I, I let just in the hands of the Lord this problem. Mm -hmm. yes. Your mercy, Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, Denise asked for prayers um, for considered be formed Father Burke Masters in Joliet uh, weekly sessions via Zoom or in person. So for all those participants that are going to that, and uh, Harry, for, we'll be praying for your son, Neil, as he's seeking work. Any other prayer intentions? Susan. Yes, um, I would just like to add my light and intention of mind and heart to what has already been mentioned, that we pray for our planet, for the restoration of the waters, the land, the air, all the life streams living here. Um, they've been greatly damaged, and there's a smaller amount of people that are involved in that, but I would like you know, the Lord's blessing and the angels to start to really bring that momentum in. And the other is, of course, we all were in prayer yesterday for those that have been impacted by the latest Hurricane Milton. But thanks be to God, it reduced in its impact from what was originally foreseen. Nonetheless, all those people are in great need. And I would just like to add our intentions in there for that. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Uh -huh. Thank you. And we also pray for the Synod that is um, continuing to meet throughout the whole month of October um, and for those impacted by war, especially in Ukraine, the Middle East, and Africa. I'd also like to pray for all expectant mothers and um, anyone who recently gave birth for their recovery and for all those moms that are expecting for a safe pregnancy and delivery of their babies. Well, thank you so much. And um, 
I will keep track of all of these prayer intentions and we'll be offering uh, a mass for all of them. And what day is it? October 31st. So we'll keep collecting all the prayer intentions from the month and uh, we'll have a mass as a team on that day. And Manchu, would you like to close us off in a prayer? Yes, thank you. In your hands, Lord, we are all, we need you for every step that we do. We put just into your hands our lives, our sufferings, our doubts, our problems, our loved ones, all the people that they are suffering in this world, in so many things, in wars, in famines, in drafts, in floods. And we are putting as well all those that are to come, for they can find just the wonderful paradise that you created. In your mercy, Lord, have mercy on us. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. And just a reminder, next week we'll be meeting at the same time, October 17th, at same time, 3 p.m. Central Time. And okay. yeah, thank you so much for joining us and have a good rest of your week and a safe weekend. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you all. Jocelyn, great job as always. Yes. First for y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Manchu, for praying. Mm -hmm.